Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP. This time, I am doing something a little bit different. Not a weapon showcase, not a build showcase, or anything like that. Just some good old-fashioned duels. And this time, I am with the generals, as some people have called them. I am dueling Big Tata and Elite. Now, these matches... Well, I can understand why people have referred to them as the Generals. I mean... I... A few times I did win, I still feel like they were going easy on me. And... Throughout these matches, I noticed a lot of things, mostly about my own playstyle, that I need to improve. Um... Among those things, I have noticed that I am very dependent, when I'm using a shield, I'm very dependent on that shield. As in, I pretty much, it seems to me like I refuse to block with the weapon, which is something I really need to start doing, and I actually have started to do since these matches have occurred. I've started blocking with my weapon a bit more. Um, other things... Just falling for little traps that they like to do, a bit of mind games that they've got going on. It helps to know how to fight against those things. And really that's what my hardest thing, or my hardest time was with these fights and fighting against the two of them. They are very good with the little mind games that they play. Like, Elite, he's got these reverse roll things. If you pay attention to his rolls, they look kind of funny sometimes, and by that I mean they look different than what a normal roll would look like. And not that it looks funny, I think it looks cool personally, and I really want to figure out how exactly he does them. He explained it to me, and I I can't get it. But yeah, just these guys are on a different level than me. Just only way I can say it. And I do get lucky a few times in a few matches, but the majority of this video is them destroying me. So I'm sure you guys will have some fun watching me get destroyed. Um, yeah. Now, right here I'm fighting Big Tata, and man, I thought I was going to get him with that turnaround swing, but too fast, I couldn't get him. And he is on a faith build, and the lead actually is on an intelligence build. And I was talking with him with Deliti, and he's actually relatively new to castings, he told me. So, for the time that he's on his intelligence build, it's not that he's going easy on me, it's just, it's just that he's still learning how to use it effectively. And really, he's doing pretty damn good at it. <laughs> because it's still way too hard for me to win a majority of the fights we have. So, yeah. Now right here, got into red tier stone mode, I was chasing him down, and I know it's a bad idea, I just, I know it's a bad idea, I learned that from Martyr's Brigade, I learned that it's a bad idea to chase someone down, because, I mean, that is my number one rule for this game, you never chase someone, but I always break it, never, actually that's my number two rule, first rule is pay attention to where the hell you are, because you're probably by an edge and you're gonna derp off of it. But number two rule, never chase. So, I always have a habit of breaking that rule, which is something I need to really focus on not doing. Now, right there, he, I think he should have had that parry. That was pretty close. And this is one of the, that was one of those little tricks that I like to do. I figured he would try and roll towards me, so I moved where I thought he would roll and did the spin attack there unlocked so he wouldn't be able to block it or have dead angled him and it got I got in the way of him so he couldn't finish his roll so yeah alright so after losing a few matches against Big Tata I finally got to fight Elite again and I pulled out the war pick and I dead angled him with that hit so it was a little bit lucky on my end and you know the flip ring Oh, the flip ring. And right there, I noticed he did that 180 turnaround parry. That's going to come back to haunt me. That that little move he does, that's going to come back and just... 
And I knew he was going to do it too when I get parried by him doing it. I knew he was going to do it. Because he was trying for it and he was trying for it hard. And I knew it was coming. But I still fell for it. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't get it. And that's one thing I, I was talking about earlier. I was saying how I don't block with my weapon much. I noticed that he actually does it a lot. And right here, I saw it. He was trying for that. And I figured if I rolled in and did the R2 instead of rolling and doing a rolling attack or an R1, it might throw off the timing just enough. But I was wrong. So, after those first few little fails, I finally got back in the swing of things. And had a good match, finally. And this match I am quite happy with. In the beginning, I got him twice, once while he was switching weapons, and once the first time do when he was doing something else. I don't remember exactly what. I, don't, I just don't think he had a shield up yet or something. Or fell to parry or something. I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly how I got him the first time. And we were actually talking while we were doing this, and I was like, I can just hold this arrow all day, dude. And, well, turns out that I didn't need to. So, yeah. Yay, I got a win. That parry really helped me out quite a bit. But he gets me back in this match, I do believe. So, yeah. And right there, I think that was one of his reverse rolls that he did. So, yeah. Right there, got him with a nice little Leo Ring counterattack for 700 some odd damage. And I learned from this match, it's better to dodge than attempt to parry. Because chances are, it's going to be a dead angle attempt. And man, that combo. Ugh. That combo. That, that was rough. That was a very hurtful, damaging, bad combo for me. So, from the, that point on, I learned, okay, bad idea to try and parry things. It's better off to dodge or block. Never try to parry against these guys, because they know how to dead angle, and they're good at it. And I... I don't know what happened with his swing right there. It looked a little bit funny, but oh well. And this fight, actually, this fight and the fight later on, I am somewhat frustrated with. This fight, mostly because all that happened here is he sidestepped a little bit and poked me. And I think I might have had him if he hadn't sidestepped. It might have been a double kill. So, just a little frustrating there. Just a little. Alright, so, as you can see, I'm doing my usual thing, switching up my weapons quite a bit. And this time I pulled out my nice little Silver Knight Straight Sword and Partisan. And I've been playing around with Partisan for a little while, and I like it a lot. It's a fun spear, and it, those R2s are really helpful. I actually get a nice one on Big Tata in this match, and it actually stuns him, which saves me temporarily. <laughs> It's too little too late, unfortunately. Right there, you can see I stunned him with it. Yeah. It's got some decent damage to it, but yeah. And you can have, you can have that angle with it. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. I don't know why, but for some reason I have a really hard time dead angling with certain weapons. And the partisan is one of them. Other ones are the greatsword. The Ultra Greatsword, Greatsword, and the Zweihander. And right there, man, I thought I had him with that jumping attack. It would have been too little too late, but I thought I had him with it. So it would have felt a little bit better. Now, pull out the Hellberry. And finally, finally, I get back into it. I start to do good with this thing. I hadn't actually used one in probably about a month at this point. And this was the first time I'd used one in that time period, about a month. And that was a that was a really good hit with Emit Force. That was really good. I'm not really sure how long Big Tata has been using uh, castings of any kind. I think it's been a bit longer than Elite because he seems to be pretty damn good with them, though. And again, I got him with that turnaround dead angle R2 hit combo-y thing. So, yeah. 
extra 500 and some odd damage helps quite a bit. And I clipped him with it there. Unfortunately, it didn't hit him with both hits because that would have been the end of the fight. And I thought he was actually about to poke me with that. I guess he was just out of range. And, you know, he likes his move force, which I don't blame him for that. I like it too. It's a fun spell. I, later on in the video, go to one of my faith builds. And I actually hadn't used a faith build in a very long time. I haven't used one focusing on using the miracles since I did a thing with Rosie a while back that ended up getting cancelled and then she... yeah, that's a whole other story. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So I beat Big Tata in that match and now it's time for me to take on Alini. Yay! Now, I think it's either this match or the next I'm pretty sure it's the next match. Um, yeah, it's gotta be the next match. Well, I'll get to what I was about to say in the next match, I guess. <laughs> now, Alini is really, really dangerous with that Murakumo. And I'm not good at fighting a Murakumo to begin with, but I don't like fighting against that. I mean, he's got a Murakumo and he's got uh, Zweihander, I think he switched between, and right there, he got a little bit fancy with his reverse roll, I mean, I'm sure you noticed that it, that, I'm sure you noticed at that time that he did a weird looking roll, that was a reverse roll, he went for the reverse roll poke, and boom, got him right there with it, and I'm not actually sure if he used the Murakumo in the beginning of that, but I think he had it on, I don't know if it just looked funny or I'm just going crazy. Whatever, it's late. I got out of work. I'm tired. You can deal with me not making much sense. <laughs> it's the PvP that matters, not my commentary. It's that's just something to annoy all of you with. So I come in and they were or they. Uh, Big Tato was throwing uh, Lloyds at Elite and I'm like, okay, I'll throw some too. So, yeah. Now, this is the fight I was talking about. I was I was on the ball with this one. I was doing good with this fight. And actually, I am going to count this as a win for me just because of this. We were talking when it happened, and he realized he hadn't done any damage to me yet. And he was like, you know, I just restarted. I was like, sure. So he went and put it. He went and used a blessing, because, I mean, it doesn't matter. We all have some blessings. It's not like it matters much, and it's easier than using a humanity. It saves the humanity for later. So, yeah. So, that's, I'll count that as a win for me, just because I was doing so well, and I'm pretty sure I almost had him. And right there, he was going for the switch from his, whatever it is he has in the offhand, to his shield. So I just went in right for that parry, just because he was so close, and I didn't want to just leave that unpunished. And right there, I don't know why I was able to get him. I guess he had his shield down for just a split second. But I'm not going to complain. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to complain at all. And as you saw, I put on heavier armor because I knew he would be using heavier weapons, and I didn't want that combo he got on me with the great sword swing to try and get around to the backstab. I didn't want to have to try and bother toggling out of that again, because I am not good at toggle escaping. It's something I really need to work on, but for the moment, I just, I'll take the poise. And we were talking, and that's the reason why I decided to use the great sword. It was more of me talking about getting a R2 counterattack with it one time. And I was like, you know, I'm going to use one on you. I'm, gonna, I'm determined to get that counterattack and just, no, didn't work. So, getting back at it with Big Tata, he got on to one of his other builds. Pretty sure it's a strength build. Um, it's got that Black Knight Halberd going. And that thing hurts. I actually heard something interesting. Apparently, the, apparently the Black Knight Halberd... Um, apparently it's affected by the Leo Ring, and, I don't know, it seems like it is when I was tested. It 
definitely hurts. So, yeah. Now right there, he went for the attack. I got him with the second swing because he was trying to toggle out and didn't get out fast enough. And if I was closer on that parry attempt, I would have had him, I think. And right there, he tried to reverse roll back behind me, but he was getting a bit too fancy with it, and this fight frustrated me. Just, ugh, dodging into my swings, and then suddenly getting behind me, and I was turning around, and then it turned me back around, and just, ugh, so frustrating. So, yeah. Later on, we ended up switching builds, or I ended up switching builds. I got onto a faith build, and this was one that I had to use a long time, and I hadn't had to cast anything in a long time, so it was a bit rough of a start for me. And right there, his invincibility frames ate that sunlight spear. That would have hurt if he didn't have so many invincibility frames. I. Ah. Uh, so much difficulty, so much difficulty. Overall, though, these fights were great. There was actually a whole nother session that we had, but that file got corrupted. He was actually standing in one of the corners. At the end of it, we were just talking and joking about stuff, joking about turtles and Smo's hammer and all of that. So he went into the corner and turtle and then ended up killing him with Smo's hammer. It was, it was a good time. But unfortunately, the file got corrupted, so now you guys have a shorter video. Not like it was intentional. I didn't mean for the file to corrupt because those there were some awesome fights in that video. They were really, really great. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you to Elite and Big Tata. If you guys watch this, thank you very much for the fights. They were awesome. We need to do it again sometime. This is the last fight, so I'm gonna go. I hope you all enjoyed. As you can see, I get a little bit flippy with this fight, but yeah. Might as well, he's flipping, I can flip too, so, yeah, it doesn't really hurt. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.